Do so, you ever have to deliver the news? Right. Absolutely. Really? Can you tell us about that news? Uh, look at her crazy laugh. Right. Please. The question is on there. Because I, I'd be scared to get my car yeah, in the car. Yeah, I would. Let too. alone somebody walk in a room and telling me that I so have AIDS. So absolutely. You know, so. Well, HIV, remember? Yeah. Right. Right. Um, so, I mean, every situation is different. So, I mean, everyone there, we're all trained to have these Do conversations this, yeah. and go through our paperwork and things like that keep our clients comfortable and you know get them on you know to their on the journey because it's right. it's a journey so also you know so I do testing right mm -hmm. I do outreach I do education okay so when I'm testing and if I have to deliver that news yeah the good thing about getting diagnosed with us would be that we have case managers there yeah so it's not like okay you're positive Bye bye, you know, out the door. It's like, okay, you're positive. These are the next steps. We can help you. We're gonna, I'm gonna walk you up here, get you set up with the case manager, right. and you know, begin begin the process. Yeah, right. Because it is a process. Yeah. Because yeah. even the way we react, and I feel like even right now, just talking, you just, you know, you're very like, absolutely very cool. It's very normal. It's like, oh, it's not like a big thing, you know, because it really don't seem and like because they didn't got it so under control, undetectable and shit, and pre do seventy two hours. Like they got it so down packed now that more people are living. Yeah, yeah. more people are living absolutely. with it, so it's really not as um, bad of a disease as it used to be. Absolutely not. Yeah. In, in the eighties, it was a death sentence. That's like, why people scared. were Real dying. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Now. It is the complete opposite and people are living, people are thriving, people are right, right, right. still doing the same things that me, you, and whoever else is doing. You know what right. I'm saying? Um, oh, I was about to say something. Oh, I see so here. many advocates show up lately too. Right? Mm -hmm. Where people Absolutely. are like, I'm HIV positive. Right, and, right, and, right. But what they're doing is just like making room for other people to be advocates too. Yeah. And I know uh, I, have, I have gay friends and like mm -hmm. even on apps, you can, you know, let your status be known. Yeah, you can. And be very open yeah. about it. And so, because a lot of people, it won't be a deal breaker for them. Right. right. And I see that a lot too. Like people will let you know that they are you know, detectable, undetectable, or whatever the case may be, they'll let you know that they have the disease. I like it when people are honest. I think anybody very, can respect very, people's absolutely. honesty. Mm -hmm. It's more fucked up when you are not honest about give what you're talking about. Going on. Please give me a chance because so many people, like you said, really don't give a fuck. They don't choose, and then you never know, they might have it too. So link up with like minded people and give people a choice at whatever the fuck you got going on, even with the men. Mm -hmm that like other men you know i think uh, and, and this is the therapist in me saying this i think mm. support groups are such a big deal for people that have hiv or, ha or have aids because they don't feel alone right in those times like even some like i'm in two support groups for things that i have going on yeah and it feels so good to be able to talk and ask for advice and understand another person that's going through some of the same things mm, but but just like i was saying because who do you talk to right. now we grown we know who other lesbian is i might because i recommend my strap toy to a lot of my lesbian friends because yeah. it's a good product it's yeah. a good product <laughs> <laughs> but we can ask some questions now i think there's also a higher level of education that can be sought out mm. but again it goes back to what are you prioritizing Right. If, if I'm just trying to survive, it might not be a priority yeah, to do safe sex. Mm -hmm. If I just want to fuck, it might not be a priority to do it safely. Right. Um, I might not ask the question because I just think you're fine. So I just want to fuck. And I right. ain't going to ask you if you've been tested recently. Right. But that one question can be life, life or changing. death. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Did Absolutely. Game changer for you for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. But I was going to mm -hmm. say, um, HIV is more treatable than diabetes now, you know what I'm saying? Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Yeah. So she like, yeah, girl, yeah. I knew oh, it was oh, more yeah. treatable, but more treatable. Did diabetes that's it's not treatable. Not treatable. I mean, you got it, you got it, but I mean, it's more treatable. You right. Know what I'm right, right, right. Absolutely. They're taking their medication every day. But and like you said, diabetes is definitely some shit you see on the regular. You know, yeah. you don't say shit about them niggas. Somebody a diabetic, you don't even flinch. Somebody said right. they got AIDS. Uh, I don't want to sit by you. Know, I don't yeah. want to talk to you. Yeah, you be more tense. Absolutely. Right. Um, does the Positive Resource Center um, offer therapy for people? Absolutely. And it's free. Um, really? For our, okay. for our um, clients that are positive. 
Mm. So we have an awesome therapist there. Really? Okay. Absolutely. Um, everybody needs a therapist. Everybody yeah, everybody do need a therapist. They do. Let me plug there yes. real quick. Everybody need a therapist. Yeah, so they it's do. It's very important. So important. Yeah. Um, for everyone. Yeah. I mean, but I'm really glad. Do you, you have one too? I've had one. Before, You've had yes. one before. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think um I did hear like um. My girlfriend had a therapist. She was like, you know, you're not always going to need me. Sometimes, you know, you won't. And then, like, you'll go through phases. Do you go through phases? Like, I know you are a therapist, but then do you have it? You have a therapist as well. Yes, I have two. Do you go through um, phases where you don't need them? Or do you go through and you like to just keep them the whole time? Um, I like to keep a therapist the whole time. Yeah, because yeah. I feel like I'm always healing. Yeah, and grounded. I, yeah, mm -hmm. and I think there's a... But what does happen is we might go for monthly to every week. Mm, okay. Um, I have one therapist that's solely focused on, like, childhood trauma. Okay. And um, me, like, doing a lot of shadow work and stuff like that. And then I have another one that is just, like, my regular right. therapist. And I see that regular therapist... Um, every other week, while well, I see my other one that's focused on my childhood trauma more often. Okay, and I think I think that's okay. Yeah, um, absolutely. For me, um, I also like it. It's been one of those situations where I also have to be self aware enough to know mm -hmm. like how much therapy I need. Right. Like when I feel like I need to rebalance myself, mm -hmm. but just like when you go to the doctor, like you have a little cold, we ain't gonna go to the emergency room. Right. We not. We got a little cold, got a little something, you know, we gonna right. deal with it at home. But when you feel yourself getting sicker, now you've been sick for a week and a half, you're breathing a little labored. Mm -hmm. Now it's like, all right, I need to go see my doctor. Right. right. And I Absolutely. might need to keep seeing my doctor until I get on the other yeah. side of this, yeah. this respiratory shit I got oh, yeah. going on. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I yeah. feel about mental health. Absolutely. Um, it's, Absolutely. it's literally the exact same way for me. And so I use my, ther my therapist. Mm -hmm. as a resource i even have a marriage therapist yeah um, we have a marriage counselor that we see um every week and i think it's been, it, it, it's just like working out you know Absolutely. it's just exercise and building those good muscles for your relationship mm -hmm. i think sometimes they always think it got to be when something wrong right like even like in the in the clinic like you get some devastating news you definitely need a therapy yeah. but before they walked in there they, they definitely, definitely need one because yeah. <laughs> yeah. they had some stuff going on even yeah. before they I agree with that. I have a friend too that um, does therapy, but she said that sometimes it's um, draining to her. I told her to reconsider your therapy. So. Therapy, you know, it shouldn't do that every time. Not every time, like you cry, you're so upset. Like, is that much work that go? Kind of. Yeah, it's a lot, a lot of work. Because think about every Shut session. Shut the fuck up. So that is normal. You taking off a layer. I was just about to say, they're peeling back layers. So you have to be, like, ready so to. So you can be mentally motherfucking trained after seeing that bitch. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry, friend. I got to call that bitch <laughs> No, no, no you might want to keep your bitch. But, it, but it, ain't, it, it means that she doing some good work. Right, and right. And it's like, how ready are you? To learn because they might tell you some shit and you like no nah, I don't even really deal with that yet right. so you pack it back down but it's already threw a little salt on the wound so it already hurt a little bit mm -hmm. you thinking about the session and so like when I, when I went through my stuff with like my family my mommy issues and stuff like that mm -hmm. it's layer after layer mm -hmm. after layer going all back to my back. beloved grandma I mm -hmm. love her right. but think about every layer you gotta peel back and it does get exhausting mm -hmm. just like working out yeah, you your tired. muscles be sore, and what they tell you, you gotta keep going. Right? Yeah, you gotta keep going back because if you baby it or you don't go, then the muscles gonna get weak again. Yeah, so it's literally the same thing with therapy. Like yeah. you gotta keep going to keep the muscles strong because. But that, that's why it's like one of the things. Like something don't gotta be wrong. Right. right. Therapy held a mirror to my motherfucking ass. It don't even gotta be something wrong. It's like look at you in this mirror, which mm -hmm. is important for even why you having sex. Right. Because why you fucking. Yeah, you, like exactly. literally, you gotta ask yourself that question as an adult. Why do I want to have sex? Yes, what do you think from activity? It? I enjoy. It. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's way deeper, deeper than that. Though. It's so like, deep. It's so, like, yeah. makes me feel good. It, it literally is like a, so many intimacy. reasons. Yeah, I um I do love the intimacy, but not that much. Like, eh. you don't. <laughs> well, I don't. That's good. Tell me about so, that. So that is real. I think I like. I love it because. Um, I'm used to it. I like the feeling. It's like a um, like a drug, like a high. 
You know? You know it really is. It right? is. Because when you have an orgasm, I know. it releases so many chemicals in your I brain. I feel like even talking, my eyes getting too damn big. I got to <laughs> calm them down. So. It, it's like getting a shot of yes. a, a line of cocaine when yes. you're having that. It's telling your body, like, I love this. Yeah. But this is why. I'm saying we got to be emotionally and mentally yep. safe, too. Yes, absolutely. Because you will get addicted to that. Um, some people two minute high. Mm -hmm. <laughs> some people a little longer. But... <laughs> But you'll get addicted to just that. Yeah. And then once it come down, just like yeah. any drug, when you come back down yeah, off yeah. of it, and then you chase it. Because yeah. I know I was definitely like that in my twenties. Like you said, hyper sexual. Yeah, I was hypersexual mm -hmm. because I didn't love myself. Mm -hmm. So I was getting the validation from all my partners. Right. I was really good at sex. So I was like, yeah, this is cool. Yeah. I'm good. I'm a good person. I got a reason because they like me and they want to be in my bed. Right. Think about how many times or how many friends we got or people that we see that are just, you know, having sex and just, especially guys. I know this respect yeah. to my men, but it's because it's, it's, it's more um, suitable for them to be uh, sexually um, promiscuous. Yeah. Like, it's okay. A boy can be a hoe. Girls it don't be quieter exactly, about yeah, it. Yeah. The boys can be hoes, but like I feel it's, like it's bitches are bigger hoes. I'm sorry. We you just know, to my bitches. It. You know, we're definitely better at it. We just get we're definitely better at it and we're definitely better whores. <laughs> but I think that's okay. That's so okay. I think the only thing I'm be saying safe hoes. is yeah. Be <laughs> safe. It, be safe out. Physically Wrap be it safe. Up. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Mentally be safe. Very. So with the fucking female condom, what we supposed to like? I was supposed to eat her pussy with that too. Yes. Yeah, Shut the fuck up, girl. <laughs> but no. So so so. so I'm that strong. So, <laughs> so, so, so you got one. I got one. But, but hold on. So you guys keep calling it a female condom. So yes. it is. Can you the bust it down and show them the bust it down. Oh, because okay. I guess guys so, can use yeah. it too. So this and, is a female condom. Mm -hmm. This is a female condom, okay? Okay. Now, what you guys are talking about. <laughs> yeah, we. Because I'll, I'll try to. I want to see it. I'll taste <laughs> This it is a dental it. dam, okay? Uh, so, this is the one you guys are talking about. Yeah, yeah let me see that. Let me see that. So, I'm going to see one of those. <laughs> this show and tell. I like yes. this. Yes. Okay, so this one is the That's female, female condom, right? And so, tell us how to use it. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to show you real quick. So, I'm going to show the viewers. This is what okay. we got our female condom. It is quite larger than a regular male condom. <laughs> it has a plastic ring inside that's gonna help for oh. insertion, right? We're gonna go in, boop, this pops back there by the cervix and we're left with this little bit hanging out. Mm -hmm. What do you guys notice about this one? Like, can't no nigga say he ain't gonna be able to fit. Oh. <laughs> uh, that's, what, that's what they can't do. Cause that's their favorite line. <laughs> that is the first time I heard the truth. We got a little, a little <laughs> extra protection, that's right? That's A little right. extra protection, right? So. Boom, you do your business, whatever, before the mm -hmm. you know woman stands up, you know, she, she's still laying down, mm -hmm. you're gonna give her a twist, you're gonna pull it out. Guess how long these can be, um, hold on, guess how far in advance these female condoms can be inserted prior to any sexual activity? 12 hours. Eight hours. Mm -hmm. What? So before you go to the club, you think you're gonna have one nice thing? That's what I it. say, stay ready so you ain't gotta get ready. So you stay just ready. have it looping out. Ha have it looping out. Just have it in the, in the cut, though. I'm not out. trying to be <laughs> extra, but I got a question. But, yeah. What about the vaginal walls? Is that being protected enough? Can there be any STDs on the lips? You see what I'm saying? Because that's mm -hmm. not going to cover the lips. I don't mm -hmm. know what kind of cats you see. You know, I, I got some lips is big. <laughs> I ain't mad at them big lips. You know what? <laughs> Oh I'm just goodness. saying though. I'm just saying, is the lips being protected? Because you probably don't even know. You don't know, darling. <laughs> I know you probably don't know. You don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just listening. I'm like, okay, well. <laughs> but well, I, I understand the protection. I part, guess it would just depend on that woman's anatomy. Right. And right. what they got going on. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This is what we got. If you, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Don't flush it. Damn. Okay. I'm going to let you open that. Yeah. This so what's this dam. one? It's the dental dam. This is our dental dam. These are typically flavored. And of course, we hear dental dam. We know this is for oral sex, right? Mm. We pop this baby out. And it is literally a plastic sheet, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tongue <laughs> this, is <that> strong. <laughs> ain't going to feel this. Me. 
This would go over the vagina or the anus, okay? Mm -hmm. Boom, this is my hand right now is the vagina or the anus. You place it over there and it just creates that protective barrier between you and those sticky wet fluids, right? right. I know you guys are like, it's not gonna feel the same, but if you out here in these streets, true. I'm yeah. not just out here eating pussy though. That's, yeah, that's you're right. Right. You're right. You're right. I have those so, sometimes. Fuck absolutely, it. but some people are. Right. So if you are, you need to protect yourself and protect right. yourself from that, that sticky so, wet fluid. So let's say right. you go on a date. Mm -hmm. You get ready to get intimate. <laughs> Let me see this. Yeah. <laughs> go. We gotta use the condom, bitch. There you go. And you lay it across your pussy. Down. What you gonna do? <laughs> I'm not gonna hold you up. I am gonna be very flattered that you are protecting yourself. Absolutely. Okay. But uh -oh. for me, I, <laughs> I think that. No. No? Not with a bitch. I can't. Because I ain't going to be able to feel the same. But you know what? I'm not going to say my freaky ass still going to try it. Because I haven't tried it. I'm so I'm still going to try. But if I try and it's not giving what it need to give, I'm going to get each person to try. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted you two to uh, show us the test. Oh. Because I didn't know that you how could often buy the HIV test. test. How yeah. often should you get tested? You should. That, that depends on how sexually active an individual is. It's so crazy right here. Right? I'm going to say if you have more than one partner, you need to get tested every three months. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. These are our tests. So every time somebody comes through, y'all get free tests? Pepsi and you ask for insurance or anything. Just no. ID? Not even ID. Not even yeah. ID. That's for Hep C and HIV tests. No ID needed. It's confidential. Yes, yes. You can do anonymous. You come in, get your test, you get your results mm -hmm. the same day. These tests take 20, 20 minutes to run. Mm. Kudos to you. Yeah. And you putting that on uh, this conversation on your podcast Absolutely. because it allows for the stigma to get chipped back. We are um, having an awareness and testing event mm -hmm. for National Black um hiv aids awareness day right so we're having a testing event we want everyone to come in and get a free and confidential test yeah also what's great about this day which february 7th i don't know if i already mm -hmm. said that february 7th. we're offering um through the department of health free sti testing so mm -hmm. come get you a free test and yeah, i am i'm coming to get come my get free you test too. yeah i get you a free because test why not why not? I can't think of no reason yeah. why I wouldn't. Right. Yeah. And then um, when different people show up, it allows other people to um, be willing to show up. So I'm going to show up. And then I'm also trying to have a couple of my friends show up Thank too. Thank you. We so, appreciate yeah. that. We're yep. spreading awareness. This is a big thing. You know, come out and get tested. Come out. We're going to have pizza. We're going to be offering other little things. We're going to have incentive cards for the people who do get a test. So come out. Right. February 7th. February 7th. Yeah. Positive Resource Connection, 525 Oxford Street. I'll get you guys yeah, flyers you make or sure whatever. You get us so. some flyers. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, we got your number. Damn, you make sure you send us the message and stuff, damn it. But I know we're definitely going to make sure we come. So absolutely. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. And just being there and offering um, a little extra support. And absolutely. Like we that. So yeah, that. absolutely. I think it's really dope too what y'all doing and I'm very happy that you got a chance to come and compliment us here because the questions for one you had them all motherfucking go okay you did. I need no. you to know that god damn it you had me god damn it you had me damn it and then um just your insight just from you being a therapist is just a natural thing for you so it was very um it was very well needed I appreciate mm -hmm. that I'm a nerd yeah so, you know, know. I, 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 I got questions I be, I be thinking I be wanting to know but to be honest I want us to be the change that we want to see right hey, look at this so it, yeah. look, it, it need to look like yeah this, it do we look the fuck good yeah we <laughs> fuck good. you said what you said but yeah i want to be having these really important conversations and then not look like oh let us be uh, yeah you know yeah. i don't want it right. to be like that i want right. it to be just like this because that's how people hear you better and, right and that's who we are just like you said absolutely i'm talking to regular people do we right. doing regular stuff and mm -hmm. so yeah. i'm glad that we were able to do this and we're gonna keep doing it right because absolutely. Um, we making spaces. Yeah. Cause if not who if not us, then who? who? <laughs> right. You damn right. <laughs> okay, well, I'm very happy that you guys tuned in for episode nine, Pillow Talking with Shani. And that is going to conclude our episode for today. Until next time, y'all. I do not know when I be back. Blowing up my phone, I know your baby mama way.